we're not even two hours away from completing this game at this pace. What do you mean? It's going to be less than ten episodes. Yeah. <laughs> That's All right. bananas. <laughs> anyway. And we're back with another episode of Salt Shaker Trio Snake Eater. Featuring Kim. Me. Yeah. And Kyle. Hello. And Jordan. Gator Man Forever. <laughs> Wrong one. Naked Man. Man, he's awfully undamaged for how much shit you put him through. Unfortunately, now I have to dress up. Uh, there we go. Yep. Nope, not Cure. I wish you could just use the Cure menu for food. A character you get to beat up because people hated him so much in 2. That's No, where's my gator hat? Do you remember in the very, very first launch trailer... For this game, for Metal Gear Solid 3, there's that director's chair sitting in the middle of a void, and it says, like, main character oh, yeah, across yeah. the back, and the first thing it shows is Raiden. Oh, God. The first thing it shows is Raiden, and then it cuts to, like, a black light, and the three green lights show up of, uh, what's his name in Splinter Cell? Sam Fisher, I think? Yeah. It's the three green lights that indicate the Splinter Cell guy, though. And the spotlight hits him, and it's just Snake, and he pulls the <laughs> goggles up. And then they race to the chair. And that was probably my favorite E3 moment ever. Oh, yeah, so if I didn't kill Rykov, you would get the sneaking suit over there. But since I killed him, I'm not getting it. It's weird that... The sneaking suit from 2? No, it's, it's called the sneaking suit. It reduces the damage you take. Oh. Uh. It's weird that they were that self-aware, I guess. No, Hideo Kojima's really self-aware. Well, it's just because most games don't That's react. why someone pisses themselves in every single game. Sure. God damn it. That's not what I want to do. I just wanted to punch him a little bit. <laughs> to be fair, though, in this game, someone pees themselves for a very legitimate reason. Yeah, because... Torture! Oh. The Shagahawk was originally designed as a tank. Yeah, you guys will see more about that Shagohod later. Eventually. Maybe. No, this is a boss fight. Yeah, well, I know. Kind I, of annoying. You have to see it. I need to let this cutscene play. The Vulgan was very... Uh, it was a something I used to say with my friends in high school who were fans of this game. The Vulgan? The Vulgan is coming up. You'll see what it is very soon. Hmm. Here comes the Vulgan. Yeah. Here it comes again. This is disgusting. Who are you? Oh my like, god. Why does somebody know just by the like the size of their you testicles? You me, you're sorely mistaken. The joke that we had was oh yeah we can save again was that the reason the soldiers are hunting Snake is because Vulgan touched every single one of them like Aww. that as I we're sorry but if we don't catch you he's gonna do it again oh god oh god oh god I never really thought too much like I don't know why I didn't think too much about it but it never stood out to me that this happens? That, like, well, no, that, like, he knows that it's not him Tell because of me. the size of his junk. Stop it. Who have you been talking to? Well, that's the thing, though, is, like, I feel like you wouldn't know unless they were just vastly different. Especially, like, through the pants. You know what I mean? How can you do this to me? Eh, he's got the I don't know. I've only ever had one genius in my hand in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fair. But it's just like I think the joke would be that like Snake is huge. That's his name Snake. That's how he got the code name. You see? He's naked snake in this game. <laughs> oh they beat him to death. So I have no items now after regaining my shotgun. The horror. Yep. 
Oh, will you play? The- <gasps> they took away the the cap. Yep. Yeah, they took away. You everything. can't get that back. I don't think. <gasps> no, you get it back when you get all your items. Oh, back. thank. God. Oh, that's right. She just gives you everything. Yeah. Entertaining than he was. I will say, Volgan is probably First, one of my favorite voices for a villain in video games. Yeah, it's pretty good. He was also Astaroth in what was it four? Yeah, yeah four. Really? Yeah. The best Sword Calibur game. No. I hate that. Not even close. Not even remotely close. Beautiful body you have. Like a newborn baby. Uh (laughs) How could that even be true? It's not. (laughs) Well, at this point, you've already... The injuries he's received in the story (laughs) of this game. Well, then. And Kim's method of curing each one of them involving the <laughs> knife and the cigar. What is your target? <laughs> is it the Shagohad? <laughs> or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? Hmm, that's weird. I don't remember having to, to undo me. that to make Who it progress. Undo what? The Who item. Oh. <clears throat> Do you know what I'm doing right now? No. The torture scene, you take damage. Every time you take hits, the sound he hits you, you you lose health. I was about to say, I remember you losing health during the sequence. Yeah. But holding the weapon wheel up... If you hold up the the little quick menu, Mm -hmm. it prevents you from taking damage. But there's a little scene, there's a little part where he delays the last attack. Mm -hmm. So you think it's over and you let go, you lose all the health you would have lost. Oh, really? Yeah. We don't even see this part. That's where Snake pees himself. And Uh, also where he loses his eye. Yep. So now if you go into first person Missing the right eye Huh Got a spork <coughs> Now I can eat like instantly Mm-hmm. Whenever you stab a little mousey mouse And since I don't want to do the <laughs> Ocelot unit again I'm just going to get rid of this Where is the Oh there it is What the heck Huh Oh. Oh, what's going on? So this is our favorite recurring character. Uh, This is everyone's favorite recurring guard that Kim is now kicking the shit out of. (laughs) What's going on? His name is Johnny Sasaki, and he is a confirmed pants shitter. No, this one, this isn't Johnny Sasaki. It's his uh, ancestor. Named Johnny Sasaki. Is it also Sasaki? Yes. They're all named Johnny Sasaki. That's the joke. Oh. And then you finally see him in four, and he's a beautiful man. He's a gorgeous man. Yeah. <laughs> Is he in five? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I kind of doubt it, though. That's so weird. Well, five is like... You can feel the rage emanating off Kojima. So there should yeah. be smoke grenades in here somewhere. The sad, they might be in that bathroom. Because I think what we chamber. didn't we play like the first hour of that game, and it's just like nope. Where just, it's kind of a grenades? horror show almost. Yeah, I don't remember. That What's that smell? Nope. It's blood. Where are yeah. the smoke grenades at? I need them. This is the room your eye got shot out. Are they not in the office? Did you already go in here? What's that? I went in here already. Oh. Maybe they're outside. Ah, whatever. It's normal. Man, they should really clean up that room. Blood dries like poop. It just looks like poop after Well, in the game, you've only been in that jail cell for maybe an hour. He's hungry for poop. Gross. There should be a dude out here somewhere. Shit, eat. (laughs) Damn it. That nice car. Oh, there's a frog up there. Yeah, I just saw it. It's the frog. Kill it with fire. Right, box. Where are the smoke needs at? Uh, what, what's kind of sad too is so during that cutscene or what, a an optional cutscene during that, that guy shows you that he has a son back home, mm. and the implication is since you escaped from your jail cell, Volgan has that guy killed. Oh God! If you don't kill him. So no matter what, Johnny never gets to know his dad, Johnny. It's a very sad life that family leads. Yeah. They have a happy ending, though. In MGS4, at least. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be rough. 
getting up to where I need to go without these smoke maids. They're about the only people that have a happy ending in MGS4. <laughs> yeah. Well, it just goes to show that all, um, that all the cards shouldn't fall in love. <laughs> that one, that, I realize how horrible that was after I said it. But everyone he loves dies. That's the joke. That's not a joke. It's horrible. Every it's every female. Oh, that guy's knocked out because there's no food. Or every sleeping. female in his life that he loves dies. Wow, this is really easy. Oh no, that's a dog. Huh. Normally it's a lot harder. Oh, I guess on extreme there's an extra enemy. And there, yeah, there's probably an, another enemy or two, and their sight lines are always way better. Oh no, fuck. I was going to show you the armory, but it's to the left from here. That's where the armory is with the uh, machine gun that I normally get. Uh oh. And this is a section not so subtly uh, inspired by the fugitive. Huh. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. <laughs> God, that would suck. It's a great film, The Fugitive. I'll have to... Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones. No. Robert Downey Jr. Um, How old was Robert? He must have been a baby in that. He's pretty young in... Well, that movie's from, like, the 90s. Yeah, he would have been, like, very young. Mm. He'd be in his 20s. His late 20s. There's a dog somewhere. Before Dicks. Robert Downey Jr. only ever made really good movies. Hey, bitch. What do you mean? Robert Downey Jr.'s, other than like Monsters Ball, has been in almost exclusively good films. True. Monsters Balls? Monsters Ball, singular. A movie that he broke Halle Berry's arm in. Oh. Like on, like on accident? No. Well. It. Where's it, that dog coming? From? Where's that? Oh. Huh? Get out the fuck out of here, bitch. It, it's an accident in the film. In the like sequence, but he was being way too rough with her. Oh, and that's why her arm got broken. So, you know, you give and you take. Method. And yeah, drugs. she she still doesn't like him to this day. Apparently. Well, it's a good thing they'll never cross over in the Marvel universe. Oh, well, she's also Catwoman, so. <laughs> Uh, they can run through there. I don't know if they can get in or hurt you when you're in there, but I would assume they can. There's Catwoman in the classic Catwoman movie that everybody loves. Yeah, well, she won an Oscar and a Razzie in the same year, and she showed up to the Razzies to accept her Razzie with her Oscar. I mean, I would. So at least she was... A good spirit. A good, a good, a good sport, sport about it. Yeah. Yeah, this whole bit uh, where he runs down there and jumps off the... Waterfall is all fugitive. Oh. Do I want to go to the end? Yeah, we can show the people. The you can Sorrow end outfit is pretty good, too. Because they don't hear my footsteps anymore. It's easy to sneak up on people. Yep. I'd say it's worth it just for that. Is that the? That's how you get it, right? You have to get you, all the way to the end. You perform this to the end. Which, the first time I played this game, I was stuck on this part for like a week. Me too. I didn't understand what was happening. Yeah, I had no idea. Because what's the... You just dodge him, right? And dodge the... You dodge everything. Well, it was... It's more... When you finally get to the end... When you get to the end of this part... He just kills you. If you touch him, you just die. Oh. And then it says... Reload or resave... You know, like reach continue or yeah, quit. continue quit. And I was like, "What? I don't get what's going on." I'm assuming you just kept continuing. Yeah, yes. that's what I kept doing. Yeah, and I got and, really pissed off. And it was quit, wasn't it? That's what it is. No, Kim will do it, but yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. And it what's also awful and confusing is you have your guns in this part. Yeah, you can shoot at them. Oh no, you have do anything. It, you can go into your inventory and you have all your other guns. Do you? Oh, yeah. And I think they have infinite ammo. Mm. No, the this one you had didn't. No, okay. I probably don't. 
So but basically, this, unique, this is just a dream. What's the unique death? Unique death? What do you mean? The the what? The, a, the, the number culture. of ghosts in this area appear based on the number of kills you have in the game. Yeah, but you you said there's like the one where you eat the vulture. Yeah, so the there guy. are different unique deaths. So like, if you kill a guy by shooting him in the dick. He's walking, holding his crotch, and blood's pouring out. Oh, God. Uh, if you slit guys' throats, they walk holding their necks, and blood's pouring out. Uh, if you burn people alive, they they're come, on fire. They're on fire. Uh, so the vulture one is... The guy will be walking down there, and the vulture's eating him. Yeah. That's what it is. But you have to eat the vulture that ate him, or something. I tried swimming this, like, you can crouch down and go into the swim, The when you did you don't move at all. Yeah, spirits grab you. So you have to do this slow walk. Yeah, you're over a quarter done. Yeah. Does uh, Rykov get a special one? Sorry? Does Rykov get a special one? Uh, I don't believe so. Lame. I think you just see him running down the water uh, with, like, in his underwear, holding his dick. Hmm. I think that's what it is. Yeah, but you didn't kill him. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's right, you shot him. I don't know what you're talking about. He kind of got like a uh, LMG. Oh yeah, he got in the bathroom. He got ramboed. There just wasn't any blood, so. Oh, there, there he is. This guy getting eaten by vultures. Ooh, I thought that, that was, was gonna a pretty hit you. close dodge. Oh, there was a corpse that got me? Come no, on. No, you walked into him. No, you can't walk into him from here. Oh, there must I have been someone into there I walked into another dead person, but I, I couldn't see him. Because of the ripple. If I could hit you with my shotgun, I would. Damn ghost. I never thought about ending this early, by the way. Speedrunners do it. Oh, it's yeah. Like, fuck this. Because it's like four or five minutes of your speed run. <sighs> oh, he faked me out. I thought he shot. What the hell? Oh. It's the spite, the fear. Yeah, the fear. The erection. Oh, God. The fear erection. Did he get you? Yeah, he touched me a little bit. Yeah. Every time ghosts touch you, they drain your health. So basically, if you do a no kill run, it's just completely empty for the boss, except for the bosses. Yeah, I think. When Look at all the fish in the water. Oh my god! When Kyle did this, it was mostly a no kill run. So there's like one or two dudes there. Yeah, it's a pretty lonely walk if you don't. What? The fish got me? No. I didn't kill any of those. Yeah, the pilot of the chopper. Oh yeah. Oh, is that the pilot? Yeah, yeah, that was a. I thought it was one of the, uh, the hover people. No. Now you're gonna get touched. Uh, oh. The laser hit me still. Mm-hmm. I thought only the front had to hit you. All right, whatever. But it did uh, knock me down though. That's weird. Normally, when you get hit by that, if it, it hits you, you in the front, it knocks you down. So there's a there's a comic strip I've read. I think you've read it, Kim. The Last Days of Foxhound. Oh, is it the the paint one? Yeah, the yeah. one that's all made in MS Paint. Yeah. Um, this point in the comic is really funny. I don't remember it. It's been it's, so long since I read it. It's uh, the Sorrow reading uh, Adult Revolver Ocelot's mind, and or him trying to put Revolver Ocelot through this. Uh huh. And the river's totally empty. And he was like, how do you not feel guilty about killing all of these people? And he's like, well, I just don't feel guilty. It's real easy if you don't care. <laughs> and Sorrow was like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. It's like, these rivers should be just filled with corpses. Oh, there scientists. should be scientists before this. No, no, you didn't kill any of the scientists in the first area, nope. did you? Nope. Just knocked them out. I didn't have a. Uh, I couldn't because if I did, it would. It would have caused too much commotion. Well, actually, it didn't matter because I got the alert anyway. 
I think I just rolled into him and knocked him down. You will all be killed by your own sons. That's ominous. <gasps> oh, I was about to say spoiler for a recent movie. Never mind. Well, it's it's not even really a spoiler for Metal Gear because if you played <laughs> any of the games preceding this. Well, yeah, but I was gonna say a Stair Horse spoiler. Man, where the hell is the Fury? You killed this a does lot seem of like dudes. A really long walk. The Fury should have been here by now. All these guys died after the Fury. Yeah. Well, no, it's it's not the walk. The length of the walk isn't based on how many people you've killed. It's really? just yeah, it's just a length of path that needs to be walked in between each boss. I I find it hard to believe that Snake feels guilty about killing all these fucking fish. Oh, yeah, no, the, the fish are always there anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. They, they're supposed to be kind of representative oh, of the animals you've killed, but... It was a lot harder to to tell if you were dodging those things on the PS2. Yeah. The graphics were so shit. I guess Rykov doesn't get a special one. He, he's already run by. Oh, he has? Oh, fuck. Yeah, he ran by at like, the very, very beginning. So there's his corpse. Yeah, so if you physically touch him, you just... It's just once you get to the end, this happens. And then if you're mashing, it's just like, continue or exit, and then you go continue, and it's like, fuck, you gotta walk again. But, you just do that. The revival pill. Oh. Yeah. The, the first time I played it, I probably walked that section like six or seven times. Same here, dude. Before yeah, I got shit. mad and was just mashing buttons <laughs> on the controller and brought up that little menu and was really mad at myself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how would you have thought it through, though? Be and, well, and actually known, because that's not like... Is the outfit out here, or is it inside? I don't remember. Well... Oh. Oh, he just crumbled. Um. If you ever used the fake death pill earlier in the game, I guess you might think to use the revival. But I never used it, because I never saw the point. I mean, you use it to escape the gel cell. I never did that. Oh, really? You just waited it out? I was given diarrhea. God, the multiple ways you can do it. Are ridiculous. Well, that's always There's the only thing. two ways to do it to escape that gel cell. Yeah. It's to either throw all the food back out and he talks to you, or you use the fake death pill. Also, there's a there's a mythical snake called the Tsuchinoko in this game, which you catch oh, after you fight the fear. It's in that area, you catch it, and then when you get to this area, you have to set a trap out here and catch the snake again. And you have to bring it with you to the end of the game. Hmm. For, for I think you get the infinity ammo paint? Or Maybe. something. There's a reward for it. You, and you have to trank it, right? It has to be alive? You can't even trank it. You have to set a trap to catch it. There's no other way to catch it. Oh, okay. Because you can never see it. It just looks like a really fat, like, short snake. Weird. It's like about a... Maybe a foot and a half long is what it would be. And it's just kind of fat. <laughs> Like it's a, a giant finger. It's a box snake. <laughs> yeah, the catching is is random too. So, what you would do is you set a bunch of traps out there, and then you just leave the map, and you come back in later, and just hope you catch it. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you just catch other junk, and you're just like, mm, like yeah, I never, another one. I never actually did it. Like I tried once, and I caught like other animals two or three times, and I was like, fuck this. And that ruins it if you're trying to get the the big boss uh, rating. Because it gives you the Tsuchinoko rating, no matter what you do. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you don't. You can't get the rating if you don't pick it up, though, right? Yeah, if you, um, but if you take it to the end and you do everything else, too, as well, mm -hmm. you'll just get the Tsuchinoko rating, regardless. There, is that it? Where, where's that camera? Oh. Do I just have it? Which one are you thinking about? Oh, you just have oh, it. Oh, the spirit? Yeah. I... Okay. Uh, oh god. 
re-equip everything. Yeah, no reason for them. They didn't refill my ammo. Nope. Those bastards. Keep that. She doesn't steal ammo for you. She just steals your uniform. Um, I guess we'll take that. Stun. Stun grenade. Oh, uh, I don't need that. Oh yeah, the revival pill thing is always your tooth. Mm-hmm. You know, like spies used to use. No, that's that was for cyanide. Yeah, but the op the opposite of the fabled spy pill. I don't understand how that works, though. What the, the revival thing? Like, how do you just use it? Because video games. Okay. It you know that whole pill was put in the game for that sorrow sequence. It's, yeah. And like Hideo Kojima, he put in the weird thing because he wanted to have that sequence. There's no other purpose for it. At least conceptually. Hello. Is it another boss fight? No. no. This is a admirably long ladder sequence. It is. Grozny God. Yeah, look at this. I'll let this one play out because Snake is just the god of time. Because if he had waited here just any longer, he would have been fucked forever. Yeah? Because now, oh no, here's a, here comes a jeep. Or an APC, or whatever that is. I think it's an APC. Yeah, he had taken an extra hour to himself. No, Snake, you know what gun you need to be using. <laughs> Boosh! Put that away. You're not wearing your battle uniform. <laughs> you need to put on the battle uniform. Okay, what I find hard to believe, if he really wanted to use that as an escape route, I find it hard to believe that Snake doesn't know how to hotwire a car. Yeah. No, he's just, he's making that sound like if I had taken any longer, I would have been stuck. Oh, you there. think it's a lucky grunt? Like, yeah. Lucky me? Yeah. Anyway, on that note, goodbye everybody. <laughs>